Hello, my name is Kyle Shiver, and I want to welcome you to the Spirit Center. Namaste. Today's question is, how do I deal with energy vampires or psychic attacks? I love the question. I completely understand the question. First off, you may not like my answer so much, because I do have an answer to the question. We are, as individuals, we're responsible for ourselves. We're responsible for our feelings. We're responsible for our actions. Other people are not responsible for us. It can't be this way. The first time I heard that, uh, I don't know how many years it took <laughs> to, to settle in with me, because I had lived my whole life up to that point completely controlled by the people and the circumstances that were around me. So... It's not an easy thing to hear, but you are responsible for how you feel. You are responsible for how you act. It's not my fault how you feel. It's not my fault how you act. And that's the deal. If you're living from the inside out, as we meditate, as we follow the, the path of spirituality, we, over time, come to understand that we have to let go of this mentality um, because it's a victim mentality where our inner world is controlled by the, by the outer world. And what we do in the, in the world of spirituality and meditation and self-realization is we turn that around to where the outer world is controlled by the inner world in here. Our heart beats, our chakras, are, we're, all, we're vibration, we're just vibrations. All of our vibrations together make one big vibration, and it's going out. <laughs> I'm making hand signals here, it's going out. Our vibrations go out. We create here the people in our lives, the situations in our lives, and the circumstances in our lives. So, there cannot really be a such thing as an energy vampire, even though it sounds really dramatic and cool. There can't really be a such a thing as a psychic attack. <laughs> energy healers, I'm an energy healer, and the energy healers, you know, we deal with other people's energy, and... Um, we all, we all, you know, I always am in sacred space. I always declare that, that my space is, is sacred and safe and only for that of the highest good. And I'm protected from anybody who might want to attack me psychically or, or anything like that. But... I'm in charge of how I feel. So let's talk about it a little bit deeper. I actually made some notes for this session because I wanted to make sure I covered everything with you. The first, the first thing you're going to want to do if you feel as if you have a, an energy vampire in your life, if you feel somebody's attacking you psychically, is you're going to have to examine yourself and the situation that you're in, how this person is involved with you and what you're going to find out is basically one thing. The person is not behaving the way you want them to behave. The situation is not the way you would like for it to be. Things are not going the way you would like for them to go. And that is the drain. 
that is where the energy is drained. That's that's where the whole thing happens. My cat Max is probably gonna be in my lap in a minute. He actually knows how to open the door to get in here to the garage. It's pretty funny. Uh, so when we examine these situations, we find it's it's an uncomfortable situation. You know, if I like you and everything is okay, you're not an energy vampire. You're not draining me. But if I don't like you and things aren't okay between you and I, then all of a sudden now you're an energy vampire. You're draining me. Trust me, I got situations in my life that are draining to me. I have people in my life that are draining to me. We all have bodies. We all have money. We all have relationships. We all have the same things that we all have to deal with. But it's not the thing. It's not the situation. It's not the person. It's, it's, it's me. It's how I respond to life, how I respond to other people. So I can't blame situations. I can't blame, I can't blame other people for how I feel and for how I act. There's a great Zen story that I wanted to share with you. The Buddha was walking along with his disciples and a man came to the Buddha with a present and the present is negative energy. And as he went to present this to the Buddha, the Buddha said, I thank you, sir, but I choose not to take the present that you have brought. Please keep that for yourself. Now me, if you were to come to me and bring me negative energy, I would get mad at you because you had the nerve to bring me negative energy. That was my pattern for years. If you were angry with me or frustrated with me or disappointed with me, I would get angry. I would, it's, it's, it's this crazy trick. You don't even have to give me the present. I'll just get angry that you had the nerve to bring me the present. <laughs> you know? And so that's, that's how I've always... I, for years, I I was that way, but now I've had the the privilege and the honor of just telling people, you know, you're angry, and you should go over there and just be angry. You should be really angry, you know, and enjoy it because I'm not going to get angry. And it's so it's so awesome, you know, uh, to to not have to just be jerked around all the time by the people and the circumstances. That are, that are my life. There are times in our lives when we need to change where we're at. Maybe we need to change the people that we're hanging around. Maybe we need to do some shifting around in our relationships. Maybe we need to uh, do a shift with our job. Maybe we, we, we there's, there's, there are times when, when that is necessary and when that is good for us. But we can never blame how we feel or, or what we do, what we decide to do on somebody else. We make all the decisions and that's the bottom line. If you're in a developed relationship with somebody, you know, relationships, they, they fall into patterns over time. And when you decide to change the pattern, you know, be aware that the other person might not know what's going on. If, if you and I have a, a rapport and you come to me uh, just like you always have every other day for the last 20 years and you start into our routine and I'm just not there, you know, maybe explain, try to have some compassion when you're uh, when you're making these changes in yourself but remember that I'm responsible for me you're responsible for you I'm gonna talk a little bit more in the next video blog about how how to deal with with people that we do need to let go of and situations that we do need to let go of how to decide when I need to let go of a situation and and when I need to work on myself a little bit more because sometimes that comes into play too. But for the time being, 
I've been talking for 10 minutes, and this is supposed to be a short video blog, so I thank you so much if you've listened to this. I, I, I intend solely to heal and to help and to be a positive source in the world. Let me introduce you to Max. Come here. You've been here for 10 minutes, so you, you, you should at least get to meet Max. There's Max. From the spiritcenter.us, this is Kyle, and I'm signing off now. Many blessings to you. Namaste.